Hey Tim, do you think you should apologize oh, to Denton Loudermill, that guy that you accused of being a mass shooter? I think he wants to left interview it up you for four for days, news. Tim, and never apologize to the guy. Why didn't you apologize to that guy? It's such an easy thing to do. Just apologize to the man. You know, your mother told me, allegedly, that you were the second biggest disappointment in her life. So that was Republican Tim Burchett here in Tennessee who left a fake post up on his Twitter for four days accusing a man by the name of Denton Loudermill as being the shooter in the Kansas City Chiefs victory parade. Um, he took the post down and he has never apologized for the stress that he caused in Denton Loudermill's life. And when he's confronted and asked, could you just make a simple apology? The best he can do is a your mom joke. Yeah, that is the kind of he haul dollar general versions of Donald Trump that we have here in Tennessee. And actually that's an insult to the show. He haul and dollar general. I apologize for that. But anytime that Tim Burchett backs himself in a corner, he does not have no shame whatsoever to stand there and just repeat whatever talking point he's been fed. Check out this clip of him being fact checked on CNN and watch how he just refuses to accept the truth and just keeps repeating the talking points they told him to parrot. I'm not going to let you, to I'm not gonna let you, you say things that are untrue, sir. So, well, sir, the, the truth is, is that $20 million flowed through this, this family, whichever way it went. There's no records of, of sir, taxes being paid, statutes against, have run, and you're, again, you're saying that that is okay. That is a talking okay. point and that you've repeated, the, what but was it the is product? not actually what what's in the, the bank records, sir. What's in the bank what records is that $15 is that million dollars of that money never even went to the Biden family. The other $5 million, there is zero, exactly zero where did that, indication where did that, 15 that it went to Joe go Biden. To? Where, did that, where did that money go to then? To Devin Archer and there's other over, business associates related to President there's Biden. There's over 20, there's over... What, there's over 20 shell corporations. Why would you set up a shell corporation that had absolute nothing? There's actually evidence from the Oversight Committee would, that those corporations have no. legitimate business dealings. You may define them as shell corporations what are the they? way that you see then, it. Then what are they? Some then of what them are were they? consulting they no, firms. Some of them were lobbying firms. No, they firms. weren't. Listen, if you want to they do the were. interview, you just do the interview, but you're asking me a question. I'm trying to give you an answer, but you can You're not giving me an honest answer, me. sir. You're repeating a talking point no, that has sir, been debunked it, repeatedly. Have it you read the bank debunked. records? The money, have you seen the bank records? I have seen Do no they bank. say Joe Biden's name on them? They say Hunter Biden's name, and what was the and he wasn't he was vice president? Influence to the big guy. He Tony wasn't Bob vice Alinsky president. Gave name, date. I'm not going to let you. Treasury, I'm not going to let you talk? say things that aren't true, sir. Folks, that is the Republican way these days. That is how they operate when they are confronted with evidence. They sit there and they say, oh, that doesn't change a thing. That doesn't change anything. We had an informant. We built our entire case around. It turns out he had that story fed to him by the Russians. He admitted it was all bullshit, but that don't change a thing. That is the kind of rhetoric that we are combating. There was a time, and I can remember this time in my life, when if you stood up and said something that was factually inaccurate, someone would call you out on it. And you just kind of had to drop your head and accept it and go, uh, I got that one wrong, but that's not how the Republicans do business. They will hammer down even harder. They will double down every time that they are confronted with evidence. Again, Tim Burchett leaves a post up for four days. It's fake news. What's the one thing the Republicans love to rally against the most fake news, but they're okay. When they spread it, he leaves a post up. This man, Denton Loudermill, got death threats. His life was made a living hell because of it. And he comes back with a your mom joke when he's asked if he should apologize to Denton Loudermill. And then he's fact-checked on CNN right to his face and just, uh, uh, no, no. I can remember a time growing up that hillbillies like that in my part of the world would stand up and I had family members who would just lie who would just make shit up. And I'm sure all of you have had somebody in your family or some friend somewhere that you grew up with that when they came over, your mom would kind of nudge you and say, now listen, don't believe everything they say, okay? Because they're going to feed you a bunch of bullshit. They're going to tell you a bunch of bullshit, bullshit stories. That's how it was. But those people was never gave a microphone and they were never gave political power. I know countless people that used to tell big old fishing stories here in Tennessee. I know countless people who used to tell big old, I went out to the bar last night and you wouldn't believe what kind of beautiful woman I took home. I've heard every kind of bullshit story in this world, but those people were not elected to office. 
Those people did not hold a position of power. But we live in a world today where the Republican Party holds that kind of power. They're going for it in 2024 like never before. They're doubling down on their fascism, especially here in Tennessee. They're doubling down on their racism. They're, they're out here trying to say that, you know, selling sneakers to black people will win them black votes. This MAGA bit has gotten way out of hand. And somebody has to be the adult in the room. And what I would have really liked to have seen there is for them to end that segment. If I could have been the guy that just ended that segment, I would have said, so folks, there is Tim Burchett from Tennessee, who, when faced with evidence, refused to accept it. He's a pathological liar who will repeat any talking point that the right wing feeds him because he is a whore to the NRA. That's what should have been said. That's, that's how they should have closed out that segment. And that would have described good old Tim Burchett. Him and his, his whole demeanor annoys me. And the, the your mom joke, could you come up with something any more original? I mean, Tim, could you just think of something, man, other than just a, you know, just a your mom joke? Is that the best you got, you monotone moron? Is that all you can do? <sighs> man. That's what it's like living here in Tennessee, folks. That's exactly what it's like. But what we got to do is we got to get our microphones and we got to keep talking louder and we got to shout down the people and their big old fishing stories. But this time it's not people and their big old fishing stories. It's people and their big old fascism and it's coming straight for us. And we cannot sit there and just let them spew that verbal diarrhea everywhere without holding them accountable.